Hey, survivors. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a frustrating issue that many players are facing with 7 days to die, the dreaded startup crash. But don't worry, we've got you covered with some effective solutions to get you back into the game in no time. Let's jump right in. First up, we're going to force the use of DirectX 10. Sometimes, using versions other than DirectX 10 can cause 7 days to die to crash. Here's how you can fix it, open your Steam client. Go to your library, right click on 7 days to die, and select properties. Under the general tab, click on set launch options. In the dialog box, type in force feature level 10.0 and click OK. Restart your game and see if it runs properly. This simple tweak has worked wonders for many players. 2. Disable motion blur. Next, let's talk about motion blur. While it can make the game look smoother and more cinematic, it can also lead to crashes. Here's how to disable it, launch 7 days to die. On the home screen, click on options, then video to open video settings. Find the motion blur option and set it to off. Click apply and ok to save the changes. This tweak can help stabilize your game and reduce crashes. If the previous methods didn't work, you can try using the 32-bit version of both Steam and the game. Here's how, download the Steam CMD zip file and extract it to a new folder. Open command prompt by pressing Windows plus R, typing CMD, and hitting OK. Navigate to your Steam CMD folder by typing CD, path, and hitting Enter, replace, path, with your folder path. Type Steam CMD and press Enter. Log into your Steam account with the following commands, replacing username and password with your actual Steam credentials, launch the 32-bit version of 7 days to die from the 7DTD subfolder and see if the crashes are resolved. 4. Verify the integrity of game files. Finally, if you're still experiencing crashes, it's possible that some game files are corrupted or missing. Here's how to verify the integrity of your game files in Steam. Go to your library, right-click on 7 days to die, and select properties. Click on the local files tab, then click verify integrity of game files. Steam will validate the files, and hopefully, this will fix any issues. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more gaming tips and tricks.